Hello guys, welcome back. In today's video we're gonna continue working with GeoCharts and I'm gonna remove this that we created in the previous video and let's go to add a chart and let's see what we will be using in this video. Instead of GeoChart that we previously covered, we will be using Google Maps options that we have. As you can see we have a lot of options and I'm gonna try to cover as much as possible in this video. So let's click on this first bubble map. I'm gonna place it here. I will need to resize this chart just to be able to see everything and what we have here. In location, in this setup section, we have country again. It's chosen by default because that's our location value. If we go to our data, you will be able to see this globe icon. So basically this means that's our location. We will be using that one. And if I scroll down, I can provide some other metrics. In this case, I'm going to be using sales. So let's place sales here in this size box. If I do that, I will be able to see different bubble size. So we can see that in the United States we had the highest sales. Also, as you can see, in China we have also high sales. In some other countries we don't have that high. So basically those are smaller bubbles. Okay, perfect. If I move sales, for example, into color metric and remove from here, then we will be able to see different colors. Now let me quickly go to style. If I click on style, if I scroll down, again I will be able to change colors. So I'm gonna do that now. For highest colors, I'm gonna pick green again, then yellow, and then red for lowest values. And now we are able to see different colors for our countries. What can I do? I can also include sales in this size box, and then we will be able to see by color and then by bubble size. Okay, great. Let's scroll down. Again, we have our filter section and cross filtering. That's already familiar, so I'm gonna proceed with style. Again, we can display title. Instead of map, I can click on satellite. And we will be able to see satellite image here. We can zoom in. For example, in Switzerland. We can zoom in in some specific place. Excellent, I'm gonna zoom out again. Again, we can customize this. If I remove those roads, also landmarks and labels, I will be able to customize my map. Excellent, I'm gonna remove that back. And instead of satellite, I'm gonna be using map again. Let's scroll down. Also, instead of bubbles, let's try to use field areas. As you can see now we have those countries filled with color instead of bubbles. If I check something else, a line map for example. In this case we cannot see anything. If I click on this combo map, I will be able to see field colors and also the bubbles. And let's go to heat map. And in this case basically it's just heat map so we can see Kai sales. Excellent. Let's scroll down. We can customize heat map layer, intensity, we can provide different colors. We also have some different map controls options. If I scroll down, we also have legend, so we can put it on top, bottom, left, and right. If I click on none, basically I will not be able to see legend on my chart. I'm gonna click on bottom again show legend title we can also remove that and basically we are able to customize our font and make compact numbers we can also change background and border and basically with this we cover this first chart let's take a look at other charts from that section so google maps we also have field map basically that's one of the options that we previously had so if i scroll up instead of hit map we have bubbles if I click on bubbles, again we have those bubbles here. Let's remove this. Let's click on add a chart. So this is first bubble map. We also have field map. So if I click here, field areas, if I click on that, I will be able to see field map chart. Let's click on add a chart once again. Hit map, we also covered that one. Line map, connection map, and combo map, which means field map and bubbles combined. So with this we covered all those charts that we have available in Google Maps and basically I'm going to conclude this section with that. Thank you for watching.